Now this is an ultrasound study of a primary gravida with a 23 week gestational age in which we are seeing uh, both kidneys in transfer section. This is the abdomen, the transfer section of the abdomen. This is the kidney view. <coughs> this is the kidney that is uh, massively hydronephrosed. This is also massively hydronephrosed. And this is the vertebra. In a longitudinal section, I mean, this is a bridge with a brief presentation. You can see that uh, in, in magnified view, well, it is a female patient. Uh, female fetus, and uh, what you can see is that. <coughs> what we see, what we can deduce with this is that this is the uh, urinary bladder, and this is the kidney in this view. They left kidney. Okay. That's here. It's a good record. It's a good record. And this is a patient with oligohydramnio C. This is the uh, this is the bridge presentation. <coughs> there is negligible amount of fluid only this pocket is seen and this pocket measures only uh, 50 uh, 1.51 centimeter which is almost uh, we can say anhydramnios. <coughs> this is a feature of anhydramnios. So, this is the only fluid pocket that can be seen, and uh, the cause of uh, the <coughs> Rest all being normal, I have seen all the rest. The thing is that uh, this this is a case of almost uh, oligohydramnios, brief presentation, marginal placenta. Here you see it's a, this is uh, the placenta is. <coughs> This is the cervix. This is the placenta posterior wall. And its distance uh, from the cervix is only 2.4 centimeters. 2.4 centimeters. So this is a case of uh, oligohydramnios in a primary gravida with 23 weeks gestational age, having a fluid pocket no more than one uh, 10 or 11 mm, and uh, the cause being renal, and both kidneys are massively hydronephrosed when seen in magnified view. <coughs> you see them. These are the two kidneys seen massively hydronephrosed. So the cause is renal. You can see the few movements are seen, fetal movements are seen, and the respiratory movements are also seen. <coughs> So this is a case of the technical research.